Good day, viewers. People all part here. I thought I'd do a little talking to you today on several various subjects. But first, we're going to have a little snack. Contrary and Mary made us a loaf of bread. It's just one of them one-pound loaves she made today with her bread machine. I've mentioned it before. It's a well-built bread machine. She's had it for 20 years. I know. It's been a long time. But it still works. Jim Dandy. But don't that loaf of bread look good? And I tell you, it smells real good, too. Let me get a couple of paper plates, and we'll cut a couple slices where you can see what it looks like. I'm going to cut her bread. I better cut her a slice, too. All right. She likes the end piece. Still pretty warm, but I'm going to cut it real easy so it... Oh yeah, it's definitely soft. I'm trying to cut it without scorching it. That is nice and flaky. It would have sliced it a little better had I waited till it cools off. Mary, you better come and butter your bread. Yeah, she was disappointed on the bread we made the other day because we bought some bread flour that was apparently old and it didn't taste quite right the other day. This one here tastes good, she said. She's out there wolfing it down. Well, I hope the lighting is all right here. It looks a little dark on my lens there. I'm out here on the porch to do a little talking today. My leg's a little stiff today. I went in there and cut some bread a while ago. I got in such a hurry to cut it. I didn't uh, put a cutting board under it. So it didn't slice as good as it would have. I'm trying to cut it on that metal rack. But it was a real good bread. It tasted just fine. Yeah, so I'm probably not going to get a whole lot of yard work done today. I'll talk about a couple of subjects. How many of you have an Android phone or a little iPhone? Comes with a little case like this. A little, well, it didn't come with it. It was a, an accessory you had to go buy. Now, my cell phone, Android, is real thin and slender. But you don't notice it when it's in this case. It seems like a much bigger item. Well, I noticed here lately, there's got these little buttons on the side. You have to push to change the volume up and down. If you want to take a picture of something on your screen, you can do the power button and the volume down button at the same time, and it'll click a picture for your gallery. But I noticed the buttons on this thing wasn't working good, and I thought my cell phone was going bad. I was right on the verge of going to buy a new cell phone. And last night I got to study in this thing, and the rubber has been so loose on it, none of these buttons line up. So if you're having trouble pushing the button on your phone, and this ain't one of these cases, take a look at the case itself instead of the phone. There might not be a darn thing wrong with your phone. That was one subject I wanted to talk about. And I was glad to find out I didn't have to go buy a new phone right now. I did go on Amazon and ordered me a new case. It's a different brand. It's got better looking buttons and stuff because I'm bad about dropping this phone. And this thing here will protect your phone when you drop it. It's got rubber corners and it'll, when it bangs on the floor, there's a better chance than your phone surviving the fall. So, as long as I don't drop my little slender phone, it's real slick. Within the next three or four days when my new case comes, I'll do a review on it. It's a different brand. This is an Otter. I'll never buy another Otter phone case. I don't like these little rubber buttons that go on here.
Like I said, the weather is really beautiful here today, and I hope you're having good weather where you are. Although I'm sure some of you up north are still fighting the bitter cold. Uh, I recently switched over, well, let's back up a little bit. I was getting tired of AT&T's cell phone service, overcharging me all the time. We still use AT&T for internet service that comes into the house and for um, a regular house phone. But on top of that, they were charging me extra use for the internet. And when I upload videos to YouTube, sometimes on their slow moving, the speed they produce, they provide here is not really long enough to, fast enough to upload videos, but somehow I've managed to upload a lot of videos with AT&T over the years. And I paid for it by using so much more data. But I got a bug in my nose here the other day and decided, well, it's been more than the other day, it's been a couple of months ago. Both of our phones are, my wife's phone was paid off and I bought mine through Best Buy, so it wasn't blocked. We took her phone and got the code to unblock the phone. Once you own your phone, and you don't have a contract on it, you can punch some codes in there and unblock the phone and it'll work on various phone networks. So we unblocked her phone, went down to T-Mobile, signed up with them, called up AT&T and told them we didn't want their business anymore. And we switched, kept our same phone numbers, had the phone number switched over to T-Mobile. The price came out about the same, only we get uh, a lot more data use for the plan that they provided. And I signed up for um, T-Mobile Internet. It's a little modem thing about yay big. I'll show you a picture of it if I think of it. You stick it in the window somewhere in the house and point it towards a cell tower. And I thought, what the heck, $50 a month, let's give it a whirl. Because here in Griffin, out here in the country where I am, the only option I had was AT&T. The cable company doesn't come out of here. Uh, the, the cable company don't come here. The fiber optics, none of the other internet providers service this area. You're stuck with AT&T, and you're lucky if you can get two or three megabytes of speed out of them. So, like I say, we dumped old AT&T. Ain't missed them a bit. I signed up for this T-Mobile internet, and it don't get the greatest signal, but it does pretty darn good. Before, I would upload a video to YouTube, and it might take me, well, say a movie that 15, 20 minutes long, it might take me 24 hours to upload it. And a little old 10 minute video might take me 10 hours to upload. The whole day you sit around waiting for your video to upload so you can show it to your viewers. Well, with this T-Mobile internet, which works just like a cell phone, it hooks up to the cell towers in your area. I uploaded a video the other day, it was 20 something minutes long, and I uploaded that thing in something like 66 minutes, just a little over an hour, and that was a long video. I've been doing a lot of short videos, you might have noticed that. Over the years, I've saved lots of my old train videos, and I'll never get to reuse them again. So I've started producing a few shorts uh, with some of my cell phone, uh, some of my saved YouTube videos, and some of them work out pretty good. Uh, try to click on here and show you some of the uses, uh, the views I get on it. If I can fit that in right here. But it's increased my viewership com considerably. Now, if you think about it, I get um, I uploaded one last night about a guy running around the crossing gates. It's less than a minute long. A short can't be over a minute long. It has to be a smaller dimension video than what most videos are. But when you get the hang of it and start producing them, you get a lot of views. One I uploaded last night, something like 2,000 views already. Speaking of views, 
Uh, my viewership count probably got over 32,000. I mean, kind of hot lately, so not a whole lot of people have been subscribing. And if you're new to my channel, I would greatly appreciate you to go over there and click the subscribe button. And don't forget to click the bell to be notified when a video comes. I upload videos on a regular basis, especially in the warmer parts of the year. I do a lot of bird videos. I need to get out there and get my bird feeder fed and my bird bath set up. But, uh, I wanted to mention them short videos. If you question why I'm doing so many of them, it increases my viewership considerably. And what do you get when your videos are monetized? You get more views. If I get more views, I make a couple dollars. But it's not as easy as you might think producing all these videos. It's a, a lot of work. But it gives me something to do. Like I say, my subscribers' subscription count got over 32,000. You got to get to 100,000 to win one of them little silver plaques. I'll probably never win one of them unless a whole lot of you sign up. My tomato plants are up about that tall now. I'll try to insert a picture. But about half of my tomato plants didn't make it. But some of them are still looking right healthy. So I haven't given up hope that some of them will make it. Um, I've been out doing a lot of yard work here lately. I should be doing some today, but I'm going to use this excuse that my leg hurts. <laughs> and it does. I'm pretty sore. I got more burning to do. I hope to get it all done. But I appreciate you tuning in and watching my videos. And this little talking video I'm doing today is probably getting a little bit on the long side. I hope I haven't bored you too much. The trees out there are starting to bud. I'll give you a view of that as, uh, as we end today's video. Thank you very much for tuning in. I appreciate your comments. And y'all take care. It's Pete Walpar saying, have a good day.